Hi friends and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel as it does greatly help me out. And also, don't forget to hit that little bell because it will notify you every time I have a new video coming out. So friends, it's soon to be Air Fryer February, where there will be 28 days of Air Fryer recipes. But first, let's talk about how to choose an air fryer that you will love and must have tips for using your air fryer. Air Fryer February 2022 is just around the corner and I'll be sharing a link or video to an air fryer recipe every day in the month of February. I will be sharing on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I'll be posting a few of my own videos on YouTube. You won't want to miss any of these delicious recipes, so please make sure you follow and subscribe to Mama Needs a Goal. Links to my other social media sites will be in the description box below. Over the last few years, air fryers have been growing in popularity. With an air fryer, you can cook just about anything from vegetables to desserts, and they require little to no oil. They are easy to use, energy efficient, and cook food in less time than the conventional oven. It's no wonder they're so popular. Before we get started with Air Fryer February 2022, I wanted to give you a few helpful tips when purchasing an air fryer, as well as tips to ensure you cook the perfect meal. Are you considering purchasing an air fryer? If so, here are a few tips to help you choose the right air fryer for you. First, let's talk about style and size. Air fryers come in many different styles and sizes. We have our basket air fryers and the baskets come in round and square. We have our oven style air fryers, which look like a little mini oven and can do a lot of different things. Think about how you will use your air fryer and how much food you will cook in it. Typically, a standard size air fryer is 3.7 quarts and can cook enough food for a family of four. But in my opinion, this just is not large enough. I personally would not purchase an air fryer smaller than seven quarts for a family of four. Measure basket for size. If you decide on a basket air fryer, I suggest measuring that basket. Keep in mind that a square basket will hold more than a round basket. Another important thing to remember is the time it takes to cook a batch of food. Will you need to cook more than one batch? If so, you want to go bigger, especially if it takes 15 to 20 minutes per batch. Next up is function and temperature. Many air fryers are multi-purpose too. My air fryer has a wide range of toaster functions such as broil, bake, roast, toast, bagel, etc. It also has a low temperature setting to slow cook and braise, plus it has a function for dehydrating. Some air fryers have presets that take the guesswork out of frying wings, fries, nuggets, snacks, and veggies. So many more options that also include the timer, a temperature range. Make sure you want to pick one that has um, 390 to 400 degree range because most meats are cooked at about a 400 degree temperature. Adjustable time with preset ranges for each function and a defrost. Research by reading reviews. Do your research. Air fryers can get expensive, but expensive doesn't always mean better. Check reviews of air fryers and go with one that has at least a thousand reviews and has at least a 4.0 or higher rating. Check out air fryers on Amazon and read those reviews. Make sure to read the pros and the cons. Next is ease of cleaning. Lastly, how easy is it to clean? Does it come a part to make it easy to clean? And is it dishwasher safe? Next up, we are going to talk about tips for using your air fryer. First is circulation. Make sure you have at least five inches all around your air fryer. It needs air to circulate and it can overheat or cause damage to your counter and wall 
and the air fryer itself. If your air fryer vents from the bottom, please make sure it's on a cutting board. Next, let's talk about oil. When using a spray oil, do not use the aerosol can like Pam. Use an oil spritzer. Aerosol cans can damage your air fryer. You do not need a lot of oil, just a few sprays. Or if you prefer, you can lightly toss your food in oil. I use olive or avocado oil. Don't overcrowd. When placing your food in your air fryer basket, do not overstuff. You want to have it no more than half full. You will need space for the air to flow around the food. Decrease temperature. Your air fryer cooks faster than an oven, so you will want to decrease your temperature and cooking time. Most air fryers come with a cookbook and many have preset, button, preset buttons for many foods. Food packages are also including air fryer directions. Flip halfway through your cooking. Most all recipes call for you to flip or shake your food halfway through cooking. Your food will come out more evenly. Add bread or water for fatty foods. To help prevent smoking of your air fryer, add a little bit of water or a slice or two of bread in the bottom tray under the basket. It will catch the fat drippings and prevent smoking. This is especially helpful when you're cooking bacon. Preheat. Turn on your air fryer while it's still empty for about two to three minutes. Crispier food. Always pat dry your food. If the food is wet, you will not get that crispy finish. Cleaning. Always clean your air fryer after each use. You want to wipe it down, soak the basket or tray in soapy water, and make sure you read the manufacturer's directions on how to clean your air fryer. Some air fryers are dishwasher safe and others are not. So friends, I know when I first got my air fryer, I was a little bit intimidated and the first few things that I made in my air fryer, sometimes it wasn't cooked enough, other times it was cooked too much. So even today, even though I've been using it for quite a while now, it's nice to have a little bit of a cooking cheat sheet. And I thought I would share one with you that is from the dailyyum.com. They have a wonderful air fryer um, cooking cheat sheet. Um, below is the link, and I will post the link in the description box of this video as well. What I love about this, it has vegetables and meats and desserts, and it has a variety of different items, and it tells you what temperature to cook it on and how long to cook it. It is a great reference if you need to have this information. So again, like I said, it's from the Daily Yum. You can see the little example there. I'll have the link posted. This is a great sheet to uh, pull up and print out. So friends, please make sure you stay tuned for our 28 days of Air Fryer February. Please make sure to follow me over on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube because you do not want to miss out on our Air Fryer February. There's going to be a ton of great recipes posted. Like I said, there will be links and videos every single day in the month of February. So friends, thanks so much for watching and please remember to subscribe to my channel as it does greatly help me out. And please don't forget to hit that little bell because it will notify you every time I have a new video out. So friends, thanks so much and I'll see you for Air Fryer February.